Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Started the vlog with some good eats yesterday. I've been home, I've been eating a little too good. You're probably like, why are you home? Like, what are you doing? I'm on Long Island. Well, you probably saw the title of this video and you're even more confused. Same. No, I'm kidding, I'm not. <laughs> this has been something I've been thinking about for a while. I guess we could just talk about it. So if you haven't seen the title, um, I am, drumroll please, da -da -da, starting the process of buying a house. Wow, she's a typical YouTuber. <laughs> a few things here. This house is not for me. This house is going to be an investment. Look at her actually planning for her future, <laughs> what? I think it's a known thing, you guys. So if you are new to my channel and you're like, who is this person, what? My name is Brooke, I'm 23 years old. I'm originally from Long Island, New York, but I currently live in New York City. I love New York City. I think it's great. I really see myself living there for at least a few more years before I settle down. I think it would be great to invest in real estate and like buy a place and stuff like that but I don't see myself like I'm a single female I just don't see myself moving into a house right now especially um, like in my hometown nothing wrong with that I actually could see myself doing that like years from now but just not right now I like living in the city right now anyways looking at my financial situation it is highly fluctuating I do YouTube full-time and social media where you have the opportunity to do really well for yourself but it fluctuates so much and with this like culture of it like always changing and stuff like that I want to do something a little smarter and a little safer with my money so uh, alas came the idea of purchasing a home a starter home it's not like we're not talking like crazy mansions here we're talking like starter home which is still amazing and like it's really like impressive and huge and stuff still so i'm not trying to downplay that but i just want to be clear we're talking like a two to three bedroom one to two bath yeah homes on long island are very expensive oh yeah so i would be buying it in my hometown here and the goal is to rent it out and make it like a rental property and then eventually maybe flip it sell it that could be yours from now but I'm not living in this house. So I'm buying a house for investment reasons. What? Like you guys are, you might be like me and when I used to watch YouTubers like that were like, I'm buying a house like mathematically in my head. I'm trying to figure out like how the heck do these people have enough money to do that? There's a lot of things in real estate. I do not have all of the cash to put down for a house right now, but there are ways like, you know, to make it work with your mortgage and stuff. I'm kind of working through all of this and I really want to be like open about the process with you guys. I haven't told anyone in my personal life about this yet. I like mentioned it to a few friends but really no one knows about this so it's very like hi i'm doing this i'm gonna buy a house as an investment but we're starting the process so i am in the process of getting pre-approved for mortgage you find like either a broker or a bank you want to go through so i'm like in the process of all that but doing the pre-approval things, sent in all my documents and stuff like that. It's like rent on steroids. Like you need all the documents you normally need for rent, but even more. I could talk about that in the future if you want me to. Let me know if this is boring or if you're interested. My mom is screaming on the phone, typical. I talked to my accountant about it, you know, how we're gonna figure it out. A lot of people ask me about finances and like kind of how I navigate it all. I personally believe in investing in help and in people who know more than I do. So I have an accountant, I have a financial advisor too that helps me with like my investments and my retirement situation. Because I don't have a traditional job, I have to start, you know, putting money aside for my retirement someday because I don't have like a typical 401k from an employer because I'm self-employed. Gets kind of confusing. But anyways, it's all good. So yeah, uh, we have a family friend who is also our realtor. He sold my parents their houses in this town. Um, we've moved several times if you didn't know. My parents are big fans of like making the place that they live in nice and like kind of you know moving on to the next one but we've been in this one since i was in 10th grade and we're not leaving anytime soon that's an update too my parents renovated a lot of stuff in this house and with my mom's work situation she's working from home kind of indefinitely now so yeah they're they're not leaving <laughs> you know that that quote from wolf of wall street i'm not leaving i'm not leaving <laughs> So yeah, I, I can't believe this is really happening. Oh, so I wanted to like vlog it all, uh, blah, 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 because I'm touring a house tonight. Like what? It's pretty cool because like I'm not going to live there. So like it's fun to like live the fantasy like, oh, I'm buying a house, but like I'm not living there. Someone else will inevitably live there, but we are going to like put some work in it and fix it up. Luckily, I have my dad who is the man, but I do want to be clear. I am purchasing this me originally my parents and i were gonna go in kind of 50 50 and then we looked at the financial situation and i'm so lucky that i'm like i can afford it so i'm just gonna do it 100 percent on my own but my dad is gonna help me with the fixing it up and stuff like that because he's the best and he's like so handy with all that stuff you guys probably know he has built me a bunch of stuff he paints he's like a carpenter like he does literally everything so he's gonna help me with like fixing it up making it nice whatever we end up doing with it it's crazy right what i just thought this would be such a fun journey for you guys to kind of join me on i want to say that this is not necessarily like the right thing to do or like what I'm suggesting everyone to do I know everyone's situation 
financially and whatnot is different. The way that you invest is very different person to person. That's why I never want to sit here and give blanket financial advice or anything like that because it's not to say that my opinion is right and yours is wrong. Instead of like giving advice, I'm just documenting my experience with all of this stuff and we are just getting the process started. This all, this idea came about like a month ago or so, but it's kind of been quick moving since then and I know real estate is like really hot right now. I know that there's a high desire for rental properties on Long Island, like houses, because I'd be renting out the whole house, not just an apartment. So that's why it's like really desirable. So anyways, yeah, that's that. So my dad and I are gonna go look at it in like two, three hours or so, but let's go downstairs and see what's going on. The rest of the fam, it's like early in the afternoon. It's been crazy with the election stuff. I'm just trying to keep updated with news, I'm doing a lot of stress eating. So yeah, I was gonna stay here for a while anyways, just like kind of until the election stuff kind of breezes over just because the state of the city right now is very, up in the air everything was like boarded up when i left on monday so i was like i'll just chill at home this week i'm just gonna stay updated on the news and if things get better i'll go back but also now with like touring the houses and stuff you know it's nice to obviously tour them in person and not like via facetime so that's cool do you want to wave my mom has another airing today <laughs> hi baby well you don't have to get up oh you're so sweet she was laying in the sun before when you were worried if she was cold uh, uh -huh. hot it is like the most amazing day outside, you guys. It is so beautiful. I'm just trying to be quiet so my neighbors don't hear me. Oh my gosh, look at that sun. I hear a phone ringing. I can't tell if it's coming from upstairs or what. I think we're gonna go to, just you and me, <laughs> we're gonna go to Ulta. I need to get some pimple patches. You can probably tell from my skin right now, not in the best state, not in the best state. I don't know why my skin fluctuates so, so much. Oh my God, I'm covered in dog hair. I thought that I lint rolled it all off. Should I look like a crazy dog lady or should I lint it off? I gotta go roll off, hold on. I would love to go to to Sephora right now because they're having the sale uh the big semi-annual sale is that what it's called but the nearest Sephora is like in the mall which is further than Ulta which is just in like a shopping center so nonetheless it still is nice to be driving and stuff you guys know I really like to drive but city living is fun I mean this is like the perk I guess of living where I live um like where I grew up I guess on Long Island is that I live so close to the city I know I talk about like freaking every vlog I swear you guys I'm like oh, I live so close to the city whatever but it really is sick that I could just get on a train and like be in New York City. Like that is so crazy when you really think about it. Whoa. And it's like a beautiful day. For some reason it's 60 degrees. Why? I forget that like school gets out at this time. It's like three o'clock. There's a school bus up there. Oh my God. Just a little doggy in my neighbor's house. Fun fact. That's my neighbor that I'm actually very good friends with. We became friends because she saw that I had a Katie sticker on my car. She's like, she's gotta be in like her 80s, but we're pals. It's very, very sweet. So now I'm gonna drive. Listen to some music or something. Just finished up at Ulta. I met a subscriber who works there, Lauren. That was so fun. Okay, so I, I'll do a little haul. Let me take off my purse. I'll do a little car haul, link everything below. I impulsively got some stuff, we know me. First off, I got just cotton pads. Um, I needed some of these for home, self-explanatory. Then I wasn't sure what pimple patches to get. I'm still on my battle of the best pimple patch. I really like these ones from Corsex, but they're not my all-time favorite. I feel like I could do a little bit better. So then I got these ones from Skin Iceland, which I've tried before too. So I just decided to get these two packs just so that I don't have to come back to the store again. And we'll see which ones I like the best out of those two. Random, I got, I just was in the mood for like an eye patch. I saw these from Patchology Rejuvenating Eye Patches. I always am sold on eye patches because I have really dark circles. I've tried to like get them fixed with filler and stuff and it just doesn't work. So we revert to more safer options like a patch. We like that. I got um, Tarped Shape Tape Concealer. Mine is just a little fair right now and I got a little bit of a darker color so that I could, instead of just using it under my eyes, I can match it to other places on my skin too. So that's cool. And then for lips, I think I said I needed some like lip product like a chapstick of some kind. I got this two pack from Jack Black. It is mint and pineapple mint. They're just like the tubes. They're really good. They're not like crazy moisturizing, but they get the job done. I honestly am a big fan of a good old Burt's Bees, but I didn't even see it in there. Maybe I was just, I missed it. Ulta's a big place. I will say that. It's $12, $16 value. Oh, I'll use this right now. Why not? 
it really smells like pineapple but it's good i like to just have like lip stuff all over like in the purse you know in my car or whatever and then i got this from lano lips which i've tried before and this is their lip balm it's just like in a little stick form so i don't i think i spent like a hundred dollars it adds up so fast i swear i'm like i need pimple patches and lip gloss and then like i go in and somehow spend that much but oh it's makeup is so weird too because it's so little but it adds up so much like this little guy i know why it costs so much money but like this little concealer is like 20 or 30 dollars it's like what i don't get it let's uh go back um. I also wanted to tell you guys I just got home very pretty drive home like the sunset and the fall leaves today on my Instagram story today on my Instagram story I decided to give you guys um, Starbucks on me so basically what it is or what it was I put up um, like a barcode and I filled it with like literally almost $300 you guys of Starbucks credit and I just let you guys go and a bunch of you guys were able to go and get Starbucks on me which is really freaking cool. So I definitely want to do more stuff like that coming up. I think it's super fun to give back to you guys. So follow me on Instagram if you want to be part of the next one. Who knows what I'll be giving you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But um, I just want to get back. I think it's so fun. I love interacting with you guys in any way they possibly can. I think that's a fun way to do it. Giving back and seeing what you guys order at Starbucks. That's fun. Okay, let's go inside. My mom has been on TV like every day recently. So we have everything set up. She's giving all these cookies to someone after she films one of our neighbors or something. Just so you guys know, we have the back room love, the Christmas. Is she in here? No, she's not in her office. The last vlog, I did a little rundown of her office. So go watch that. An unfinished basement. This is cool. All right, I'm home and so tired, and I just have my acne stickers on. I'm just gonna go to bed. I'll update you guys on the rest of the day tomorrow. Love you guys. My face has a ton of pimple patches on it. We're just gonna get over it, okay? Right now I'm going to Starbucks because today's the day where they give you a free reusable cup when you get a drink, so it's just a deal. I go to Starbucks basically every day. I'm not mad about it. Wanted to update you guys on the house situation. We're having a little bit of trouble uh, getting pre-approved for the mortgage. I kind of had a feeling this would happen because I'm self-employed. Um, I mean, my tax returns and everything like show everything. It's just like really confusing because I have a corporation set up for YouTube and stuff like that for my earnings. The way that they had to do it, they had to average like my last e few years of tax returns, so 2018 and 2019, and those two years don't show that I have enough to buy a house. Uh, but then if you go off of this year and 2019, it does. But 2018 included, it doesn't. So we're just having a little bit of tr uh, trouble. If anything, we might have to wait. Uh, but the house that we saw last night was a really just simple house house three bedrooms the basement wasn't finished but the washer dryer was down there and a little kitchen my dad knows way more about houses than i do and he was like with a little bit of fixing up it could be great you know we take like two months we redo like things like the driveway the kitchen and then uh rent it out and then um i get some rental income so that's still the plan um but i have to talk to the mortgage people today so kind of stressed about it but hopefully it all works out and if not it's not meant to be right now it kind of was a process that got really like rushed and moved up anyways this is something that's come to fruition like really quickly so if it's something that i have to wait until 20 to 21 to do it probably won't be this house but that's okay everything happens for a reason so i just wanted to document the real process of it all that's just really what's going on right now i hope you guys are all having a lovely lovely day i know this vlog is probably random like all my vlogs though <laughs> feel like in the past they put it in the cup but i got my free holiday cup and my drink holiday cups whoa making a hello fresh lunch Just quickly, very, very, very quickly got ready. I'm wearing this shirt from Nordstrom, my flared Levi's. I am about to go, and these are my Amazon sunglasses. I can link them below. Great sunglasses. I actually put on makeup. We're gonna go to Trader Joe's. My family and I, we wanted to do like a little wine night tonight, and like, we're gonna get, there's like a vineyard in our town that we like to get like a cheese plate from, but I was like, you guys, I have time. Like, I'll go to Trader Joe's, and I'll make us a little cheese plate. So I'm gonna go 
do some shopping at Trader Joe's. You guys know like our water situation, so I'm gonna go fill up like a big jug of water. Instead of like doing bottles and stuff, we get it from a place and then we like refill it in our bottles and it's like high pH water, it's really good for you. And then my mom and I are gonna go get our eyebrows done later. So it's a fun little day. I haven't heard anything else back about the house. I'm waiting to hear from the mortgage company, uh, but I'm gonna drive by the house in the daytime now. Uh, cause I only saw it at night, but it's like on my way to Tr Trader Joe's anyways. So I thought that would be fun. Let's go. Okay. I'm here in the neighborhood of the house. I just drove by. I don't know if I should show it to you guys or not. Like I feel like that's creepy that people live there right now. <laughs> I'm going to turn around now. It's a really cute neighborhood back here. It's so fall. You guys, there's leaves everywhere. I really want to get out of the car and take a picture, but I feel like it's going to be bizarre because I <laughs> would just be taking like this like suburbia. Like no one does that here. So I have a long list for Trader Joe's. It's been a while. I haven't gone in like probably a month or two even in the city just have have not been so i miss it gummy, you got me the gummies no you should have told me oh, i forgot to tell you that i wanted the gummy lobster thing i love candy yeah i know you do i got you yeast because i know you're always out of yeast you, you know they didn't you used to carry yeast. I know, it must be new. Okay, I'm unpacking stuff. I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, I spent probably the most money I've ever spent at Trader Joe's on the fewest items. So for dinner, we're gonna have flatbreads. So I got this one that I like, and then my, I know my parents like this one. I don't really like prosciutto. I don't actually eat that, so yeah. And then I wanted to try these fried olive bites. Uh, I got my mom two types of flowers, one like, fall bouquet and then these ones i got some chomps just to have around here i don't know how long i'm staying that's like the other thing i'll update you guys on that later i got myself some cold brew coffee my favorite are these mini pickles they're called corn i don't know how to pronounce that i got myself pickles and this is all for our cheese board tonight so i got these types of crackers rosemary for garnish my mom loves like a fig type of spread mom i did get you the fig butter the Triple cream brie with wild mushrooms, this goat cheese that has like herbs, caramelized onion. These are for another day. My dad likes to do burrata for dinner, so like for an app thing. Truffle dip and then some Greek olives. So that's everything. Not like a grocery shop, more like tonight and like snacks and stuff. So yay. Oh, and I got myself Power Crunch bars. These are some of my favorite protein bars. So this is all just for like the, the drawer for breakfast and stuff. It's lovely, um, it's lovely. Yeah, I know it's nice. It so Mom, nice sweatshirt. Thanks. <laughs> you guys, I just made this beautiful board. It's one of my best, I think. It's a lot of Trader Joe stuff, and then my dad had some stuff lying around the house too, but this is like a fig butter, caramelized onions, flavored cheddar. I showed you guys everything in the hall. Crackers that we showed, olives. Oh, and then we have mini pickles and stuff on the side. <laughs> my sweatpants. <laughs> okay, my skin is shit. I don't know what is happening. Oh, I also rubbed my eyes and I had a mascara on. I forgot. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. This was really all over the place. I still have no updates on the house, but I just wanted to start the process of all of that and like start sharing it with you guys. So I thought that I would. I'm gonna shower now and go to bed. And then tomorrow I'm gonna start a new vlog. I am I'm gonna take my car that's here. My old car, I should say, cause it's not really like my car anymore, but whatever. Whatever you wanna call it, I'm taking that and I'm going to drive into the city. I'm not gonna stay in the city. I'm gonna end up coming back here to Long Island, but I'm gonna go back, get a few things, take care of a few things at home. I have a lot of like packages and I just didn't leave my apartment in a state to like leave it for multiple weeks. So I was like, all right, I'll go back for the day, grab some stuff, come back here, and then I'll stay here for a little bit longer. I don't really know how long I'm gonna be here, if that was another thing. I might be here a little bit into next week and then go back to the city for a few weeks and then come back here for Thanksgiving. I don't really know. It's a really quick back and forth. I could either drive or take the train. So tomorrow, since I'm just gonna go for the day and hopefully I'll be able to find parking, I'll just drive. But I don't leave my car in the city because it's really expensive. <laughs> like the, the lots in the city, if I wanted to like park my car in a garage or something in the city, it would be like $500 a month, which is insanity and just like unnecessary in my opinion. If you have a car in the city, I guess like do your thing. But for me, it's just not necessary. My brain is like not really working anymore. I took my melatonin gummy knees and I'm gonna go to bed. I love you guys so, so much. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, subscribe to join the fam and I'll talk to you all another time. Bye guys.